Hindi pa sumisikat ang araw ay nagsisimula na sa paglilingkod ang mga volunteers ng feeding program ng San Lorenzo Ruiz Parish. Abala na sila sa paghahanda at pagluluto ng tanghalian sa higit dalawandaang bata at ilang senior sa mga mission areas na nakapalibot sa parokya. Ito ang naging buhay nila simula pa noong 2019. Araw-araw ay sumasakay ng tricycle, lumalakad sa mga masisikip na eskinita, gilid ng creek o makipot na tulay, maihatid lamang ang mga munting baunan sa mga tahanan. Hindi naging hadlang ang pandemya sa paghahatid ng tulong sa mga bata upang mapanatiling malakas ang kanilang pangangatawan. Nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng magigiting na volunteers ng SLRP Feeding Program, lalong-lalo na sa mga foundations and benefactors para sa kanilang walang sawang suporta. Inaanyayahan po namin kayo na tumulong, mag-abot ng makakaya upang mapanatiling buhay, mulat at kumikilos ang San Lorenzo. Tawag sa ikakasal Si Lloyd O. Oliver, 33 years old, nakatira sa 279 Rilyosi Street, Agpo Lagonoy Street, Agpo Lagonoy, Camarines Sur Ay ikakasal kay Marie Therese D. Albino, 32 years old, nakatira sa 8B, Diamond Street, UP Professor Subdivision Tandang Sora, Quezon City, sa ikalabing anim ng Oktubre 2021 sa Santa Rita de Casia, Paris, Quezon City. Si Mark Luis R. Eugenio, 29 years old, nakatira sa number 30, Jade Street, UP Professor Subdivision, Culiat, Quezon City, ay ikakasal kay Juana Marie S. Supnet, nakatira sa number 30, Jade Street, UP Professor Subdivision, Culiat, Quezon City, sa ikadalawampot pito ng Oktubre sa San Lorenzo Ruiz Paris, Culiat, Quezon City. A blessed afternoon to all. This Eucharistic celebration is being streamed through the Facebook page of San Lorenzo Ruiz Paris. We enjoin you to dress appropriately and actively and reverently participate in our celebration. Please kneel for the Arashi Imperata for against the COVID-19 virus. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength and their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. 
Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. 2021 Year of Misio Agentes Mission Prayer. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all, to sinners, the poor, oppressed, the sick, the abandoned, and neglected. He gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light. Through your loving plan 500 years ago, missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your son, to our ancestors. That made us your people and the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights, defeats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit impel <coughs> May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us the sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the star of evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her as our mahal na ina form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all. Always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand for the angel. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, 
through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The theme of our celebration is, Let the Best Be the Servant of All. The aspiration to achieve excellent results and to do ever better is the instinctive drive that is the source of mankind's progress. But in our fallen nature, the desire to do better is often nurtured by pride, the pride that brings us to trample on others in the eagerness to succeed. This is not what Jesus taught us. On this Sunday, we are invited to overcome that pride with humble and generous service. In the Gospel, Jesus challenges his disciples and us to be the servant of all. That is the most practical and effective way to counteract the devastating consequences of the passions that make war within our members. In this Eucharist, let us ask the Lord to grant us the grace to be able to serve out of love and with love. The celebrant of today's Mass is Reverend Father Nikanti Shaoredi, SCJ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be Jesus, the servant of the Father and of all mankind. May his grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us reflect on what makes us unworthy to do so. Mighty 
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. This passage from the Book of Wisdom offers us a scary insight into the plans of evil men against a typical faithful Jew who has dared to urge them to abandon their perverse way of life. The target of their evil plans is a prophetic figure of Jesus, the just man par excellence. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked say, let us beset the just one, because he is of no use to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violation of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, 
let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof of his gen gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord upholds my life. The Lord upholds my life. O God, by your name, save me, and by your might, defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Hearken to the words of my mouth. The Lord upholds my life. For the haughty men have risen up against me. The ruthless seek my life. They set not God before their eyes. The Lord upholds my life. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely will I offer you sacrifice. I will praise your name, O Lord, for its goodness. The Lord upholds my life. To a community plagued with jealousy and selfish ambition, James proposes the only workable solution to seek wisdom from on high and to actively promote peace. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every foul practice. But the wisdom from the above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? And it, is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet, but do not possess. You kill and envy, but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask, but you do not receive, because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. has called us through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through galilee but he did not wish anyone to know about it he was teaching his disciples and telling them the son of man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him 
and three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? And they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms up around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child, such as these in my name, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives not me, but the one who sent me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, all of us are taught to be great. Even we are trained, even in the, at the infancy, to be best. Best are great in power, strength, wealth, fame, wisdom, and many other ways. Because we know the world respects and honors those who are powerful, those who are rich, those who are popular, and those who are intelligent. So, but the problem is, at a certain level, this training, uh, this mentality, this conditioning becomes almost a part of us to be the best. No, all of us want to be best. Even no one tells, but we know that it's deep down there is desire to be the best. And then, yeah, it is nothing wrong not to be best, but the problem comes when we want to achieve this best through any means, by any means, maybe sometime taking even the advantage of our brothers so that we can be exalted. Or maybe, sadly, this is what others are so doing, you no know, day in and day out. And we see this from practically all levels in society, in politics, in schools, offices, our families, even in the church, and even in our relationships. So it, and uh, it happened, not only among us, but even among the disciples, even when Jesus was around. So that's why Jesus took this opportunity to teach to his disciples and to all of us the definition or the meaning of the greatness. What is true greatness? Ang tunay na kadakilaan ay nasa mabuting kalooban at sa matuwid na pamumuhay at sa pagiging lingkod. Because for Jesus, the greatness lies in living righteously, in having good heart, uh, in being a servant, in serving others. Makaibang makaiba ang tuno ng isip ni Jesus at ng kanyang mga alagad. No, in our gospel, while Jesus' heart was focused on humility and the sacrifice of the Son of Man and his suffering and his death. Whereas the disciples, the controversy among them, who was the best or who was the greatest. Their consciousness is not in sync with the heart and mind of Jesus. That's why I said, no, makaibang tono ng isip ni Jesus at ng kanyang mga alagad. So, but Jesus being a teacher, as I said, this, he took this opportunity to teach them what is the, to, to be great, uh, to be the greatest. So he said, being a servant, being small as a sign of greatness. Ang pagiging lingkod, ang pagiging maliit bilang tanda at muka ng kadakilaan. So, if you look into our gospel today, the disciples went on a journey to Capernaum and they were arguing among themselves who was the greatest. 
And uh, Jesus asked them, what were you discussing? What's going on with you? Of course, uh, nahihiya sila. Because Jesus overheard what was going among them. And then Jesus knew what's going on. So in order to emphasize Jesus something, what did he do? He didn't get angry. He did not shout at them. But he just asked them to settle down. And then he said, the first should be the last of all and the servant of all. So if you want to be a leader, if you want to be, a, want to be the first or greatest, be the last or be the least, be the servant. And then also he said, he brought a child, put it there in the midst, and then he said, you must be like this child. Then only you will have greatness in the kingdom of God so that also you will have a place in the kingdom of God. So my dear brothers and sisters, the message is very clear. Greatness is about service. That's why Jesus said, who, anyone who wants to be first among you, be the servant, be the last, be the least. So, ibig sabihin, hindi tayo susukatin ng Diyos ayon sa ating nakamit na yaman, karunungan, position, o estado sa lipunan. No, God will not measure us according to our wealth, position, wisdom, or social status. No, susulitin, sa, su, susulitin at susuka, sukatin tayo ayon sa ating ginawa para sa kapwa. No, we will be tested and measured according to what we have done for others. In our recognition of the goodness of others, in our recognition that God is also with us and not just us, above all, in our concern for them. So we all serve in one way or the other. So the attitude of a true servant, a great servant, is not to hunger for recognition and appreciation, but rather in anonymity. So this service is not just to get, again, to be great. They say, yeah, this person is very good. He serves, He's, you know, he gives everything. Uh, he is always there. No, we are not looking for that kind of appreciation. No, then we are also doing, we are using this, our service, as a means to achieve, to be great, no, to be popular, or to do something. Uh, we know that now, I know somebody last year who asked to bless something, uh, a kind of a center, but uh, now Joey told me that He's running for position. I think that is a wrong motivation, no? That is not the way, that is not called service. Service, but then, this is a selfish motive. I am here to serve and try to do something good, but later gain from what I am doing. That is not what Jesus means. It's you do to them, just because who you are, because who they are, because what they need, that's all. Don't take it anything from this, what you are doing. So that's why, my dear brothers and sisters, true greatness is in humble service. And uh, it also reminds us that we need to get rid of pride and arrogance. Because these are the enemies are contra contradictory to be humble. Because when we are full of pride, we become more selfish. Even we are serving, but we become more selfish. And also because of that, we do not see the good of others. And instead of helping, we ruin their lives. So this is so the competition comes also sometime when we are doing this, uh, when we are selfish, or uh, when we are pride, when we are arrogant, we try to destroy. Because the tendency is, I must be better than, greater than these people. So what I do, I always do negative public, you know, uh, negative uh, opinions are something, wrong things, are chismes, are I try to destroy the reputation of that person so that I feel I am better than that person. So the selfishness, you know, can destroy anything to be the selfishness, to be great, selfishness to be the higher than others that can destroy, my dear brothers and sisters. That's why Jesus is asking us to be humble 
It's like uh, mango fruit trees are uh, the grain of wheat, a uh, grain of rice, if you see the rice field during the harvest, you know, when they are grain already there, they are already down. They are down because they are full of tree fruits, you no know, full of grain. That is the humility. But those who have no grain, they just stand, uh, no, uh, stand tall and then they just be there. But we must be humble. When we have more, we are called to be more humble. You know, uh, we have to act in more humility, my dear brothers and sisters. Because actually, the real thing is true popularity is in, in humility. So this is a call for all of us. And it is not easy for us. Because to be a servant to others is not easy. We will encounter a lot of difficulties and challenges. Now, may mga taong ayaw sa'yo dahil ikaw ang lingkod. Makagawa ka ng mabuti, may masasabi at may masasabi pa rin ang mga taong hindi nakikita at bulak sa iyong kabutihang iyong ginagawa. Maraming beses, ikaw na ang nagsusumikap, makatulong, ikaw ang magiging masama. But we are not alone. Even Jesus experienced that. He continues to do good, but then the Pharisees, the scribes, the leaders always blame him, like he's breaking the rules, why is he doing, what is he doing, and many other things. And you know, this also led him to crucifixion because of this, you know, the jealousy, the hatred of these people. But Jesus knew that his life, what if he continues his mission, ministry, will lead to crucifixion, but he did not stop. No, he did not stop. He said, okay, I know. That's why he's predicting today, like last Sunday. First time he was predicting, and then second time today, the Son of Man has to suffer, undergo the suffering. He will be rejected by all. He will be crucified. So because of what he's doing, that also will happen to us, my dear brothers and sisters, when we're trying to follow Jesus, trying to serve others, trying to do good things. But... Yes, uh, we are not alone. So, but uh, let us not take it into personal things, no, personal, personally. Because ang mahalaga, malinaw sa atin, ang ating mabuting intention at layunin. Mahalaga rin ang pagtatanggap na ito, ang kalooban ng Diyos sa atin. And when we know this, and then no amount of opposition and persecution can dissuade us from doing what we are supposed to do. So the rejections, the complaints, the bad things, bad words, I think we shouldn't take personally. It, it, is, it is revealing who they are, not who we are. When someone is falsely accusing us, our good intentions, our good deeds, do not take it personally. The problem lies in them. They are jealous. No, they are pride. They are arrogant. So uh, they are selfish. That's why they are trying to say something. But we do not give up because others are complaining. Uh, others uh, do not appreciate us. Or uh, maybe others say something bad about us. Do not take it personally. Let us continue to do good, my dear brothers and sisters. That's why Jesus uh, insists humility. Because when we take up the position of the cro uh, servant, that means we are saying, yeah, we are just mere servants. I just do what I have to do, or I just follow my master. You know, the result, whatever comes, it's up to God. God will reward me. Because God is my true God, you know, my master, true master. I am his servant. I continue to do good. I continue to be faithful. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us forever bear in mind today's message. That greatness is not about a chair our title. Greatness is about the cross. Greatness is not about being seated in some kind of throne, but about being crucified on the cross of Christ. It is our life, being the disciple, being the child of God, being the follower of Jesus. But we are not alone, my dear brothers and sisters. Jesus walks with us. Jesus always be there. So the question for us is that, what do we do? Do we continue the journey with Jesus to Jerusalem 
so that we take part with his suffering in his death and his resurrection are are we like disciples or others we let us get busy always in arguing who is the greatest or who is the best so let us ask god's grace that we may reflect heartfully and that we may follow faithfully the message of god in this uh, mass please stand i believe in one god the, the father, father almighty creator of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified <coughs> under pontius pilate he, he suffered, suffered death and, and was buried, buried and rose, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen trusting in god's loving kindness toward those who seek refuge in him let us humbly present our petitions in behalf of all those in need and let us say source of all consolation hear us source of all consolation hear us for the whole church and especially the christian communities which are discriminated against or persecuted may the hope of the eternal reward be their source of strength let us pray source, source of, of all, all consolation, consolation hear us. us for the holy father and all other spiritual leaders may they treasure humility and a spirit of service in imitation of jesus the servant of all let us pray source of all consolation hear us for all the lay members of the church may they be aware of their dignity and fulfill their duty to be builders of the kingdom in our society let us pray source of all consolation hear us for all those who take care of abandoned children the handicapped and drug addicts may they persevere in their good work in serving Christ in their less fortunate brethren let us pray source of all consolation hear us for all of us may we discard the jealousy greed and selfishness that divide us and replace them with kindness generosity and concern for others let us pray source of all consolation hear us let us pray in silence for our personal intentions let us pray source of all consolation hear us lord jesus grant us a spirit of humility and service that we may become instruments of your love to all our brothers and sisters especially those who are suffering you who suffered and still care forever and ever amen
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by raising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Roberto, our Bishop, all the clergy and religious. 
Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus who offered his life on the cross for all of us. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Una, sa pagdiriwang ng ating ikatatlumput apat na anibersaryo, Bukas, September 19, mag-uumpisa na po ang ating Novena Masses hanggang sa September 27. Ito ay gaganapin sa ika ng umaga, 6 a.m. Ikalawa, simula September 20 hanggang 24, dadalaw ang imahe ni San Lorenzo at ang relics ni na St. Clair at Abasisi at John Vianney sa ating mga bukluran. Magkakaroon ng pamiminto sa mga santo na agad susunda ng Santo Rosario. Ang live stream ay mag-uumpisa sa 7 p.m. hanggang 8.30 p.m. Ang schedule ng pagbisita sa mga bukluran ay nakaflas sa screen. Sa September 20, Chera Verde. September 21, Friends of San Lo. September 22, UP Professors. September 23, St. Dominic IV. At September 24, Santa Cruz at Doña Faustina. Ikatlo, 
Sa paghahanda natin sa ating kapistahan sa September 28, ang lahat ay inaanyayahang sa ating sakramento ng kumpisal sa September 22 at 24 mula 4 p.m. hanggang 6 p.m. May schedule po tayo ng Paris-wide kumpisalan dito sa ating simbahan. Kung nais ninyo magkumpisal, ngunit hindi kayo pwede sa mga nabanggit na araw, maaari kayong tumawag sa Paris office sa 8292-5255 at magpa-schedule po kayo ng confession. Ikaapat, para sa mga bata, mayroon tayong online na katesismo sa buhay ng ating patrong si San Lorenzo na gaganapin via Zoom live stream sa September 25 mula, 7, mula 4 p.m. hanggang 6 p.m. Ito ay agad susundan ng Children's Mass. Ika-anim, ikalima, sa September 26, sa ikatatlo ng hapon, 3 p.m., magkakaroon po ng pagdarasal ng Divine Mercy Chaplet sa ating simbahan. Ito ay agad susundan ng pag-ikot ng Blessed Sacrament sa lahat ng areas ng parokya na papayagan dumaan. Babasbasan ang lahat ng mga bahay at parokyanong madadaanan ng motorcade. Ikaanim, sa araw ng kapistahan ng ating patron sa Martes, September 28, sa ganap na ikasyam ng umaga, ay magaganap ang ating Fiesta High Mass na pangungunahan ng ating mahal na obispo ng Novaliches, si Bishop Roby Gaa. Sa misa ding ito, gagawin ang alay ng pagpapala, ang relaunching ng ADAPT Pamilya Programa na naglalayong matulungan ang mga hirap na mga pamilyang apektado ng pandemya. Magkakaroon din ng pag-alay ang mga puso ng pagpapatawad at pagpapala, a guided family activity and on forgiveness and gratitude na nakapaloob sa misa. Sa hapon naman, magkakaroon ng motorcade ni San Lorenzo at mga relics ni na St. Clair at St. John Vianney na iikot sa mga areas ng parokya. Ito naman ay magtatapos sa Fiesta Mass sa ika-anim ng gabi, 6 p.m., na pangungunahan ng ating kura paroko, Reverend Padre Nino Itulye S.C.G. At panghuli, patuloy pa din po ang pag-aayos ng ating simbahan ayon sa layunin sa pagtatalaga ng San Lorenzo Ruiz bilang isang parokya. As of September 18, 2021, tayo po ay nakalikom na ng halagang 6.915 million pesos Sana po patuloy nating suportahan ang proyektong ito. Muli, ang mga paraan ng pagbibigay ng inyong donasyon ay ang mga sumusunod. Sa pamamagitan ng pag-aalay ng love offering sa bawat misa o sa pag-aalay ng spiritual bouquet kay San Jose. Maaari din po ninyong ipadala ang inyong donasyon sa pamamagitan ng GCash, i-deposit sa Metrobank RCBN San Lorenzo Ruiz Paris account, o ipadala ang inyong donasyon sa ating Paris office. Maraming salamat po sa inyong walang sawang suporta sa ating parokya. Please kneel for the prayer to St. Joseph. O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, we place in you all our interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist us by your powerful intercession and obtain for us from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, we may offer our thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, we never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. We dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Praise him in our name and kiss his fine head for us and ask him to return the kiss when we draw our dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray, pray for, for us. us. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, who watch over your creatures with unfailing care, keep us in the safe embrace of your love. 
with your strong right hand. Raise up your servants and give them the strength of your own power. Minister to them and heal their illnesses so that they may have from you the help they long for. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God keep you from all harm and enrich you with every good gift. Amen. May you walk in his ways and ask always doing what is right and good until you enter your heavenly inheritance. Amen. May he give you strength to endure all trials and make you compassionate toward those who suffer. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in your neighbor. Thanks be to God.